guys and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a video about a murder case. Um, in my previous crime series videos I mostly have done missing people and disappearances and things like that but today I'm going to do murder. In my future crime series I might do like murders, serial killers, but I will stick mostly to kidnapping, disappearances, and cases like that. Anyway, to get into what we're gonna be talking about today, we're gonna be talking about Tristan Baudet. I, I don't know if I'm butchering his last name, so sorry if I am, but Tristan Baudet, if you guys haven't heard about him, uh, it's actually a really recent uh, story. It's been on the news, so I'm sure you probably have if you're watching this. But if you haven't heard about him, I will give you guys a background on him. Tristan Baudet, at the time of his death, was a 35-year-old man. He was a scientist slash researcher at a pharmaceutical company, and he was a family man. He had two children, or he has two children. They're two and four-year-old girls, and he has his wife. So at the time of his death, he was on a camping trip with his family, uh, not including his wife. I believe it was him, his two young children. They were sleeping in a camp to get at a uh, camp. They were sleeping in a tent together. And then he was also there with his brother-in-law, I believe. Uh, this was actually, I don't know if I, I don't think I found this in a news story. I think this was actually from the sister-in-law's like Facebook. She had said that they were there too with their kids. They were basically camping and I guess overnight while they were at their campsite, Tristan Baudet was shot. They were camping at a park, a state park called Malibu Creek State Park. And you would think this is a random shooting, like, you know, kind of like a one-time thing. But no, there have been like seven to eight shootings in the recent, like previous years. So in really like the present time, there's been like seven to eight shootings in the park. It's it's really strange, but the police haven't really like done an investigation on this. There have been lots of reports of people being shot at or being shot randomly, like not seeing the person who is shooting them. And you know, maybe they hear a shot go off and they'll be like, what is that? And then they'll see like someone had shot in their car, like right where they were like seconds before, or it'll be like someone actually got shot, but they don't know who shot them. And the fact that there's been so many cases of these random shootings in this state park and that they haven't been investigated like blows my mind. It blows my mind. And they're clearly doing an investigation now because someone has been murdered with his two children. This is like a big case. So, you know, like the fire is under their butts. Like they have to investigate this, but it's just crazy that like no thorough investigation was done before this happened. This could be have been prevented if the police were active and stayed active maybe in that area and you know like we're actually like looking into things and trying to figure things out because what it sounds like is like there's kind of like a serial killer like it seems like someone I don't know maybe maybe these are all these seven to eight cases are all random and people just randomly like to bring guns and shoot but you know like I don't think this is a hunting thing I don't think this is a case of like random people going and accidentally shooting people and then getting scared and like going this is clearly something that's like premeditated like at least with Tristan's case like someone had to go up to his tent to see him and shoot him because the two children were left unharmed physically at least they're left unharmed so this was something someone thought like in their head, like, okay, I am going to go do this and shoot this man, you know? And so I feel like they might have like a serial killer, serial shooter. I don't know how many people have actually died, but I know people have been injured and that there have been several shootings and they're investigating it now. But it just blows my mind that no investigations were done prior to this huge like media, like huge media case that was like put in the news. Like now, of course, they're going to do an investigation, but it's crazy that it took so long. I just kind of want to get into how big the actual campsite is to put it in perspective for you guys. It's 8,000 acres long and there's about 63 campsites. So they're pretty spread apart. 63 or 68, I don't know, something. 63 or 68 campsites. And they're pretty spread apart. So, you know, huge space, like huge land. Clearly, like the campsites are gonna be very spread apart. But I think there's only one road to get to the campsites, you know? So there's only like one way in, one way out. So I'm wondering like now, I'm like, okay, 
Like someone could have been camping there and then they could have gone to another campsite and sh like the person who's doing these shootings or if it is the same person, they could be just camping there and, you know, shooting these people. So I don't know if they have cameras, you know, like sometimes, you know, I know it's like a woodsy area, but you would think they would have cameras just to kind of like, just in case something does happen in the park because it's a huge park. Like it would just make sense to have cameras. I don't know. To me, it makes sense to have cameras. But I don't know if they have cameras, if they monitor who's going in and out, which they probably do. They probably monitor who's staying at what campsite. Like maybe if they can like link the dates to people who stay there and like see if they stay there at a certain time. Or maybe it's just a random person running through the woods in the middle of the night with on acres and acres of forest and land. I don't know. It's I, I feel like this is one person or maybe two, who knows. And they're doing this. They're doing these shootings where... I don't know what their intent is, just like a random shooting. And it's actually weird because where I live, I live in Tampa, we actually had like someone who was going out and just shooting people randomly like on the street. They caught him, but we had like a serial killer for a while and everyone was like really scared to be in like the certain area because it was all, it was happening in a certain area. So it's eerily similar to this story where like shootings, several shootings are happening in one area and you know, police after a while they're like okay like this is getting kind of like okay we have to start looking at, at this person or looking for this person so i hope there are some new breaks in the case now but what do you guys think do you guys think there's a serial killer or do you guys think this is just like random case of you know someone's people randomly getting shot i don't know i just feel like this could have been prevented and now this um now this family has to live without you know their father because things weren't being looked into. Clearly, like, all these shootings that had happened, they, it didn't come to their attention until, you know, like, oh, this big case happened, so maybe you should look into this area and what's been happening in this area. And voila, a bunch of shootings, bunch of random shootings. So, yeah. And in case anyone was wondering, like, oh, where was the mom? Apparently the mom had some kind of, like, she's in school, so she had some kind of exam or something, so she was staying in, so she has an alibi. I don't think it would be the mom. But, you know, nothing's off the table. Okay, guys, so comment down below. Tell me what you think about this case. Do you guys think it's a serial killer? Do you guys think it's random? Um, yeah, and if there are any updates, I will comment down below about any updates on this case. And we can keep on talking about it as things keep on rolling out. Because I know they are doing an active investigation on these shootings that have been happening in the park. So... Yeah, and if it gets like any bigger than this, if something like kind of explodes and there's like something huge that happens, I will do an updated video. But yeah, that is all. So that is all I wanted to talk about today. This is the end of this crime series. My next crime series will be a missing persons case. So don't you guys worry. I know people like missing persons case. At least I do. Like I watch them like nonstop. So I don't know. I'll, but I will be doing a missing persons case next so don't forget to like this video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and comment down below your thoughts and that is all thank you guys so much for watching bye